In this video, I'll show you how to automate changing deal stages in the Active Campaign pipeline to save your sales team time. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make Active Campaign even better for your based businesses. Let's check it out. So before we talk about automating, changing the deal stages, let's talk about deals and pipelines inside of Active Campaign. So Pipelines in sales are the processes or the journeys from a sales opportunity or you know a lead to a conversion, and they're made up of stages. So you could have new lead, they downloaded PDF, booked a call, they're in the follow-up, and then uh, eventually the deal is won. And uh, deals are records for contacts that have entered your pipeline, and they're on track to converting. So these are specific records uh, in the pipeline that you can see move for a contact, and they help you distinguish a qualified contact lead as a sales opportunity, apart from the other uh, contacts that you have inside your active campaign CRM. So let's take a look at how to automate changing deal stages. So inside your active campaign account, we're going to automations, new automation, and uh, we're gonna set up a trigger. In our case, this is when a contact subscribes to our main English list. Um, you're going to define internally what it means to have this initial stage for a new lead in your pipeline. So this here is the deals CRM pipeline. We've got a product sales demo pipeline set up here. Uh, someone comes into our main list. We add the deal to the new lead stage. And each one of these that you can move and rearrange, these are the stages in the pipeline. So what we're going to automate is this deal moving through the pipeline until someone adds the product to their cart. And then we can automate marking the deal as one when they purchase or lost if a certain amount of time has passed uh, and they don't purchase. So the contact subscribes to our main list. Next, what we're going to do is add a deal for this. So we're gonna to go to CRM, add a deal and fill in this information. You can check out this video here. It's more in depth on how to add and create deals. Play it demo a value of 50 in the pipeline product sales demo this one here the stage new lead this one here the green and we'll put the owner as myself for this example and hit save okay next what we're going to do is we're going to create a goal step and the reason that we're going to do that is because this automation here, we, we typically speak about automations as being uh, the king and the pawn or a general and a, uh, a soldier. This is, uh, this is going to be uh, more like a soldier uh, or a pawn in that we're going to be taking actual actions. We're going to be moving uh, stages for the deal. And we're gonna do that by using goals. So we're gonna hit the plus, conditions and workflow goal. And this goal is going to be defined by your pipeline. So whenever the contact reaches a certain goal, in this case, they completed the quiz, we want to move their deal from this first stage to that next stage. When they've taken that action to move them into the second uh, stage, completed the quiz, we want them to go into that stage. When they've downloaded the PDF guide, we want them to move into that stage. When they've added a product to their cart and so on. So we'll say completed quiz, keep it aligned with our second stage. Click to add the goal conditions. You can check out this video here if you wanna learn more about using goals. So we're gonna set the conditions tag exists, submit a demo quiz and hit save. When the goal is below the contact's position, it's just gonna move from top to bottom. And we're gonna choose wait until the conditions are met because I'm gonna hit save. We want this contact to move, add the deal and then move and sit in this queue right here in this goal uh, before moving on in this automation until those conditions are met. And once they've completed the quiz, we'll hit a plus. We're gonna to go to the CRM again. Now we're going to choose update a stage. And here is where the automation takes place. Here is where we move this deal 
from the first stage into the second stage because they completed the quiz. So we are in product sales demo. That's this pipeline here. And it says, select a new pipeline and stage. We're going to say completed quiz. It affects the most recent deal for this contact. And we're going to say the product sales demo. We only want to impact the pipeline and the stage for this specific pipeline. Um, so we're going to hit save. And now you can see it says move deal to stage product sales demo completed quiz. So this will move automatically here once they reach the conditions for this goal, which is completed the quiz and received the tag for having completed the quiz. Next up, we're going to add in conditions and workflow another goal. And per our pipeline, we'll call this one downloaded PDF guide. We'll add the goal. Tag exists. And we could choose PDF, hit save. Below, choose wait until the conditions are met. And when they receive the tag for having downloaded the PDF guide, we want to again move the deal stage. This time we can drag our last action from updating the deal stage, drag that down, copy single action, hit OK, and then just remember to go back in and adjust those settings. So this time we want it to move to the downloaded PDF guide stage, affects the most recent deal in this pipeline, hit save. And the final one will be product added to cart. We'll hit the plus, add a new goal. Product added to cart. Tag exists. Product added to cart. When the goal is below the contacts position, again, we're going to wait until the conditions are met, hit save, and then drag this action down, copy the single action, hit OK, click into the action, and adjust to the final stage in the pipeline, product added to cart. Hit save. And now for the last step in this, we want to make sure that we mark the deal as one automatically when someone purchases. So this would be run typically through an integration where we're adding a tag to show that they've purchased a certain product from our e-com shop or from whatever platform we're actually making the sale on. So I would hit the plus goal and we will say product purchased, product purchased to add the conditions to the goal and we can say tag exists purchase and we can just use this one purchase special offer and we can use purchase automation rebels workshop hit save and we're gonna say wait until the conditions are met hit save And now we're going to add a new action. We're going to go to the CRM, but this time, instead of updating the stage, we're going to update the status here, update the status of a deal. And instead of an open deal, which it's been an open status this entire time, right? It's not won or lost. We've got them in our pipeline, but they haven't purchased and they haven't told us that they're no longer interested. So now we're going to mark it as one. The most recent deal for this contact in not any pipeline, but our product sales demo pipeline. If you have multiple pipelines, multiple products, uh, you want to make sure that you're only impacting the, the correct uh, deal in the correct pipeline. So we'll choose that, hit save. And then we can end this automation. And so this is how we're going to use goals to automatically move a deal for a contact from the initial stage. In a pipeline, we'll create the deal.
And then for every action that they take that moves them further along the pipeline toward becoming a uh, customer or converting, we will be able to automatically move them through the pipeline and then mark them as one automatically using this automation right here and the goals that you see. If you have any questions about setting this up, just let me know in the comments below.